Hi everyone, just going to tell you a short story and I decided to make this video because it's about the changing landscape of my city. So the Juicy Bridge pub is an iconic pub, it's on the corner of two great big main roads in Manchester and it's been serving ales and there's been bands playing there since 1923 and right up until August of 2016 it was still quite a bustling pub that attracted a lot of people. Unfortunately in August 2016 it closed down though and I found out that it's been earmarked for demolition and it's just going to be flattened and it's going to be like um, a landscaped area or a driveway to more office blocks that they're going to build in the, in the near future and that's a shame because the pub's got quite a lot of character um, so that said it went out with a bit of a bang in September October of 2016 the pub had one final last blast and a final sort of goodbye to Manchester because some homeless people occupied the pub they sort of squatted there and I'll tell you why in a moment but the people squatted there and they set up a, a kind of a commune a kind of a community there and I watched very closely because I thought it was really interesting and really fascinating particularly as it had been a pub and it was about to be bulldozed and knocked down and I went up and I was chatting to the people and I learned about what they were doing. So you may have seen it if you're in Manchester and you may have seen all the posters and the banners outside. Okay, so what was it about? I did chat to the people there and they did tell me what they were doing. Basically, they'd occupied the pub uh, that squatted there to create a stable halfway house. You're either on the streets or you're in accommodation and that might be council accommodation or private accommodation but there's no halfway house for you to get off the streets and get into to start to look for work and to look for somewhere to live. So they created this stable halfway house between the streets and permanent accommodation and it was a place that was drug free and alcohol free and addiction free basically. Um, what they were telling me was that some of the places that are halfway houses could be quite toxic places because they're not addiction free and um, when you're trying to get off an addiction and you're around people that are still addicted that's not a good thing so they created this place where they were quite self-sufficient really looking after each other and some of the people outside in the tents they were still addicted and still on the streets but they've kind of like those people have gravitated towards the, the pub and they were staying outside because they were still addicted and on drugs but when they became drug free they could then move into the uh, community, into the commune inside really. So I'm not an expert on uh, homeless issues at all. Well that's what they were telling me and fair play to them really for doing it, for trying to create somewhere that was a stable environment for homeless people to go to to find some a place of safety because they get abused on the streets basically to find a place of safety to start looking for somewhere to live and to, for some kind of work to do and to sort their lives out fair play to them and you may not agree with the means it was illegal it was an illegal squat but sometimes you've got to be a maverick to get things done sometimes you've got to um, just force change and they basically mobilized and they helped themselves and you can't argue with that, you can't argue with anyone that gets up off their ass and helps themselves. So that was it, I just wanted to tell the story. But basically on the 11th, Tuesday the 11th of October, they were kicked out and it all kicked off and there was a heavy police presence and I've got some footage to show you. And they had their last sort of stand really. And one of the guys went up on the roof and did a rooftop protest for a bit and he managed to get himself in the local paper whether it'll do any good, whether this will force the issue of homeless people or highlight the fact that these, these lack of safe places and lack of halfway houses, I don't know. I certainly hope it will do. I'll put a link in the description. They've got a Facebook page, hashtag let them stay. I'll put a link in the description to their Facebook page and if you want to explore it further, you can do. But I just wanted to make a video about an iconic Manchester landmark that's about to be bulldozed that had was was sort of involved in this last sort of protest and had this big sort of like last send off that a lot of people in Manchester saw probably may not have known what was going on so here's the footage of when they got thrown out and I happened to be there I ran to get my camera and went back and took some shots and took some video footage of what was going on thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video